and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some gruel monsters to finish out our last deck of the day today. This is a pretty interesting list. This was also a 5-0 list. Uh, that's what kind of kind of went with the that theme today, picking out some different lists online. That looked that looked uh, really interesting. But however, we did change up the sideboard here. We had a, a person in chat that was actually trying the deck earlier and saying while it did well against other creature decks, they were struggling against control um, among some other stuff, con control scape shift, stuff like that. And so uh, I'm adding in some, some Planeswalkers in our sideboard to help fight the control decks uh, to give us just card advantage. Um, you know, when we take out like our Reckless Rages and our Collision Colossuses and the Strikes and stuff like that. So we can, we'll have a bunch of creatures still. We'll have like our 28 creatures that we have in our main. We'll probably be keeping those in, but then we'll also have like some card advantage to go along with them. But anyway, let's talk about our deck. So what we have here is we have a mix of dinosaurs and hydras. We got our Marauding Raptor is kind of like the, the key to the deck. It's like the centerpiece of the deck here being um, our two mana, two, three, that whenever a creature enters the battle, or sorry, the, sorry, the, the main, the most important thing is that our creature spells cost one less. So you can curve into Ambusher and Ripjaw right away on turn three, but then also deals two damage to our, any creature. And if it's a dino, then it gets plus two plus zero. So the fact that it deals two damage to any creature, that's kind of making us want to play this Hungering Hydra. So this may this is a blast from the past. Uh, loose definition of the word blast there. But this is a card from the past uh, that you may not know too much about. So it's it's a Hydra that enters with X counters with just you know one green and then X. Can only be blocked by or can't be blocked by more than one creature, so it can only be blocked by one thing, so they can chump block it. It doesn't have trample, doesn't have any kind of special effect. It's just a big creature. But whenever it's dealt damage, you put that many 1-1 one -one counters on it. So with Marauding Raptor, let's say you play Marauding Raptor on turn two. For for on uh, turn three, you can play Hungering Hydra for your three mana, and then it'll enter as a 3-3, three -three because the fact that it costs one less and then like the one green kind of cancel each other out. So it'll basically be a three, three for three mana. And then it'll be dealt two damage by Marauding Raptor. So it'll get two counters. So it'll basically be a three mana five, five. Obviously that's not spectacular. Uh, that's, you know, kind of like Steel Leaf Champion, but that's still, you know, three mana five, five is nothing to sneeze at. But then of course it, it also just, um, it scales, you know, it can be a lot bigger as well. If you just spend more than three mana, you know, it gets, starts getting bigger and bigger. Plus, whenever we're playing Reckless Rages, dealing damage to it, then uh, it gets bigger from that. And then, you know, hopefully we get to use this Colossus and give it a bunch of trample. We also have the Voracious Hydras. Making this thing cost less is certainly good. Um, and then, obviously, Ripjaw with Marauding Raptor. Nightpack Ambusher is a little, a little weird here because we're not really playing a Flash game, but it's just such a powerful card that even just playing your Marauding Raptor on turn two, passing the turn on turn three, and then on turn three, flashing in your Nightpack Ambusher should still be pretty good. So I'm, I've been want, wanting to try this deck. Um, Dragons and Hydras unite. Let's give it a try. I'm going to take it on over to our traditional Constructed queue. And with us playing this new deck, trying it out. We're going to play till we either win five or lose two, whichever happens first. This, <clears throat> this could be a Gargos deck. This, you know, I think it would, I think you'd want to change it up quite a bit. I think if you want to play Gargos in this kind of deck, I think you probably need more. I think you just need more mana sources just in general. I don't think you really want, um, just like the six, the the twenty four lands for trying to play like the six drop there with the Gargos, and honestly you probably want Hydro Crisis if you're playing Gargos also, but maybe, but with that being said, maybe a Team Rochelle with, um, with the Marauding Raptor for a, if you want to go full on. Uh, Gargos, could be the way to go. It looks like we got a control deck off the bat. I'm glad we added in a bunch of Planeswalkers to our sideboard. 
the card that we took out of the sideboard was Shifting Ceratops, which I think that I just don't think that Shifting Ceratops is too necessary for us. Yeah. Teamer Hydra instead of Simic Hydra gives you It would give you some some good removal too. You know, like red gives you like some actual removal. Right on schedule. I've got it. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Oh, target creature you don't control. I couldn't see all the rest of the text. I was like, target a creature you control, right? See you, Kaya. That's the that's the one thing about giving your creature three toughness is it's not you know it's bad against Othakaya, but we already had a creature with three toughness, so I just went with the haste. Stop. All right, so one, two, three, four. I think I want to just go for the big creature. Oh yeah, we get an extra one because of Marauding Raptor, so five. Just go for the 10-11. See what they got. Darn. Definitely see this deck not having enough card advantage against Esper, though. Really glad we had we changed our sideboard like we did. Riptar Raptor is a great draw step. Alright, so that should be Command the Dread Horde. If they're if they're making that block, that means they have Command the Dread Horde. Or not. Or they just knew I was gonna draw a reckless rage. Curiosity and wonder trust. Truth lies beyond vision.
Ugin is so good. Responsibility. I'll protect you. That's a great one. Get rid of that Ugin. We will meet again. That's a pretty good last card to have. Yep. There are so many mistone your prowess. Hmm. Good drop. Not so good draw. <laughs> Put thoughtfulness before action. And they're back up to twenty. I'm not done yet. Both of Kaya is pretty busted. Those who cannot proceed, I have gotta hope no removal, and then we can kill the, the Teferi. There's just another Teferi, though. No, Esper is not going to die after rotation. It's possible we died of the oath, Akaya. This isn't a no time for a break. Yeah, Red's losing a lot. We'll have to see like what it gains in the fall sets, and also presumably with like standard should be a little slower. Time for plan B. As soon uh, as let's I see. think. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just do all five. Or it's six. Standard basically like almost always gets slower whenever you go whenever you move down from eight sets to five sets. Hold that thought. And then um, yeah, the loss of the check lands will will probably slow down standard as well. They've gained 12 life with this Othakaya. <laughs> right, like I think they've dealt, dealt like 12 damage to me. But if they if they top deck a land, we got this. We have lethal, draw a land. No, so close. No, not me draw land. Deck, what are you doing? I don't want to draw land. I want them to draw land.
Yep, stupid Narset. Can they just draw a land? They're just drawing they're just drawing spell, spell, spell. When I went land ripjaw. This looks like this is probably a removal spell. Yep. Now that elf will just die to the hero. I would have attacked with the elf. Hey, they drew a land. All right, now I'm willing to attack with the elf. Great card. Yay. We did it. Um, what archetype uses Nessa the most would be that'd be some some blue green ramp deck. Definitely some deck with like Hydro Hydro Crisis. Not sure if I'm supposed to play all these Veil of Summers and Fries. Don't want those. I don't want these. Lightning Strike is, like, fine. Lightning Strike may be better than Fry, to be honest. I don't want all these Fries. Play two Fries and get rid of this Hungering Hydra. Is he 24 creatures? I guess that's not that many. I'd rather have strike because I want to. I want to be able to kill hostage taker. So I'd rather have strike. Oh, Fry does kill hostage taker, doesn't it? The blue part. I was thinking about the the white part. Oh well. All right, I guess Fry's better. I guess Strike kills Ugin. There we go. See, we we used Strike last game to kill Ugin. We gotta still be able to kill Ugin. There we go. We need the Strike for Ugin. That's, I mean, that's what the only reason why we're in the game is because we drew that Strike that turn to kill the Ugin. We didn't, we didn't draw that. We were like really dead. Yeah, Sultai Flash was very impressive. Show remorse. I'll show restraint. No, I am not making this up as I go. That's more like it. You just let me know if you're up for round two.
kind of wanted to see if they'd have like the removal spell there. Like if we if we if I try playing Riptal Raptor first, obviously it may not work out. Whoa. Maybe they had to go somewhere. Maybe they couldn't beat Vivian. Yeah, I guess I just their four four couldn't beat a four five and then decided that was the entire game. Do I just get rid of Lanor Elf? No, we'll get rid of Mountain. Thanks, Rex. No, am I playing my, my Sultai Flash deck? I don't want to play for a Sultai Flash. Okay, it's not. It's Sultai Ramp. Boo. Legion then is great. I guess they need to be rejuvenated. All the Field of the Deads. Hey, you stop. So the creatures have Trample... I think I just want another Voracious Hydra out here. It's our fastest way of killing them. Certainly helping no escape shift, of course. It, but then also the rejuvenator, give him another land drop. We can get like 12. So 
so they can get 12 zombies. That's a little too much power for me to handle. <laughs> well, escape ships rotating out. Like escape ship, won't, like they just wanted escape ship to be a thing in standard for a couple of months, but it's it's rotating out, so you don't have to worry about it after rotation. Really need to land. I don't know if we really need to land. I don't know if that's an accurate statement. All right, so we put three, six, nine. Yeah, I just put three in front of everything. The blast zone's gonna kind of wreck me. Well, they know about the Reckless Rage, so I, I don't think they're going to block. Like, I don't think the attack and hope they block poorly option in life is one that I'm too interested in. So we do five. I mean, we need to draw... If we draw Collision Colossus, we can win this. Like, Colossus wins this game. That's all we need to do is draw Colossus. Because they can only block with one creature, and then we can give this plus four and trample. Oh, wait. They just, they just need to attack. Why didn't they attack last turn? Didn't they have enough to kill me? I guess I wasn't really thinking about that as much. They only need eight creatures to get through. Yeah, I didn't even have enough blockers. Yeah, they could have just killed me last turn. Yeah, they could have... Yeah, they had lethal they would have just attacked last turn. They would have had 12 zombies to attack. Obviously not the 14. And I would have had five blockers. And they would have had the two in the air and these. Yeah, they had they had lethal last turn just attacking. Oh, I had I, w I had one rage up, right? Yeah, I had one red mana. What are they doing? Man, what if we would have just drawn Collision Colossus and won this? No, oh, what are you doing? Don't attack. Well, he gave us a draw step. Man, that would have been an epic Colossus to draw right there. Mm -hmm. 
yeah. yeah. Three turns later, they finally attacked and killed us. Does this deck run that dino card that when it enters it destroys all nine non-dino creatures? Nope. That card cost that's Wakening Sun's Avatar. That cost five white white white. We do not have any cards that cost five white 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 in this deck. We do have five cards in our opening hand. I've been wanting to make a, a blue red land destruction deck recently. I have been thinking about a pretty sweet blue red land destruction deck. All right, so obviously we need to draw it. Like we're we're down to five cards. Like four cards, we're not winning. Maybe five cards. We need to draw a red source off the top here. That was not red source off the top. I don't think I'm gonna play one one Hydra. We'll we'll see if we get a red source off the top this time. Here we go. All right, here we go. Time to break some spells. Blue, yeah. So I'm thinking blue red. Um, because I, you know, I want it to be a haphazard bombardment. Like red's definitely the most important color. Haphazard bombardment and uh, star of extinction. I'm kind of thinking blue, like agent of treachery, just like steal their lands. Um. And uh, I think with blue, I want I want like four tails ends, and then play the lotus field land with the tails ends. So we can get a lot of mana that way. Um, yeah, so like, so we ramp up there and then that, like, that's our, our big top end is haphazard bombardment, star of extinction, agent of treachery to steal their lands. And then of course, of course, Kiora to go along with, with Lotus Field. Um, blue blue bounce, you know, we'll play some bounce spells to bounce the haphazard bombardment back to our hand to replay it. Yeah, we'll be tails ending the lotus field trigger so we don't have to sacrifice lands. That's the plan. Yeah, I'll play I'll play Brawl Dr. K. I'll be making Brawl decks and stuff. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, we'll be bouncing Agent of Treachery, so we can replay that, steal some more, steal some more lands. Boom. 
All right, so we're gonna do four damage to this thing, but like basically the the GG you can basically ignore them because of this. So next turn we could make Hydra for we could do five for Hydra with the Lanwar Elf, so it'd be a five six, but then it takes four. So it'd be like a five two. So if we want to fight something, it's probably gonna die. Okay, or we can make it a, a 4 1 and then just basically have it kill the Omnath. So I can have it kill Omnath. Then we attack in for 8. Yeah, that's probably worth. It's either that or just make it 8. Um. You know, we could make it an 8-9. Is an 8-9 more valuable than Omnath? Probably. But I'm still going to fight. So that we get this attack in here. Because otherwise the 2-3s, wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to attack with them. No, the raptors only get the plus two if they deal damage to a dinosaur. And the hydras are not dinosaurs. So this is a matchup we even sideboard for. Like, do we want flame sweep here? Flame Sweep is kind of only killing Llanowar Elf, Paradise Druid, if they have Paradise Druid, and Risen Reef. I may think we just, I kind of think we just keep this. It's, I think my least favorite card is the Nightpack Ambusher, because they get to, go, they can go bigger than Ambusher. But I don't know if I like any of these other cards instead of Ambusher. Like, do I really want Flame Sweep instead of Ambusher? I don't know. It could be like a steel deck, and maybe maybe I should be playing Veil of Summers. We'll kind of find out more here. Yeah, Veil stops the Omnath damage. I don't know if that's worth playing. Yeah, I'm showing great self-restraint not playing, not throwing a bunch of Vivians in the deck. Oh, man, if we just had an Elf or a two-mana Dino, this would be a pretty good hand. But I think that's going to be too slow. Speaking of Elf and two-mana Dino... Because Ryle is just a really weak card on its own. There's nothing in the deck I would rather. I'd rather be playing Ryle. I don't know if just using a Reckless Rage on just like the just a mana creature right now is really worth it. They kind of have infinite mana already. Uh, 
Oh, darn it. This isn't going to work. Yeah, I just killed off the Llanowar Elf. That's fine. Uh-oh. That thing is too big. Cavalier Thorn, such a good card. We just had a subscriber there and I just missed it. Sorry, tapping my foot with the sub. Y'all, we need to get some hype boats in the channel. We just had a subscriber. Thank you so much, tapping. I'm so sorry I missed that notification. I must have been kind of tuned in here. I'm going to run it again. There we go. You are awesome. Thank you so much there, Tappen. We're getting some big wolves, but we got to race a 8-8 eight, eight hydro, Hydroid Crisis. It's not going to be easy. We're definitely going to be attacking next turn. Oh, come on. Seriously, just had Nissa also? <laughs> what is this? Alright, they're playing a bunch of that Aether Gust card. Let's, we'll go ahead and play these Veil Summers. Spellbreaker is really not so good in this matchup. Alright, gonna play a 5 mana Vivian that can kill Krasis or get us card advantage.
yeah, Bill, we actually played a Tulsimer Nightpack Ambusher deck yesterday, Selesnya Stompy deck, and those two cards were awesome together. Really liked them. I was really impressed with those. Yeah, check out from yesterday, Selesnya Stompy. Of course, there's the YouTube channel. It's just youtube.com slash ToddStevensMTG. All right, we'd like to draw the land for Vivian. Okay. Yay. I guess I should probably attack first. Can't stop nature. This thing's big. <laughs> yeah. That's your turn three six six. That only gets only getting bigger too. Yeah, basically null hide ferox that can grow and can only can't be double blocked. Got a single block. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Hmm. Let's pump up these marauders. Forest. Darn. Alright, so we'll have one Marauder trade with the Omnath. So they don't start getting counters on their stuff. They're down to three. Gonna have to now chump block both of like both of these things. And that's it, they scoop it up. We got two and one. Now here we go, Gruel Monsters. Pretty pretty fast hands there. Yeah, I can't. I can't cast the elf because it would die. Because it would g take two damage from the the marauding raptor. Yeah, woodland champion has been pretty. Was pretty impressive with the green white tokens deck. Yeah, I played played the, that deck a couple of times, and yeah, I liked woodland champion in it. It's of course just hard for that kind of creature to really do too well in a Teferi world, but I liked it. <laughs> yep, picking a deck with limited WoW cards is hard mode on Arena. Yep. <laughs> no, I don't think I've ever had like people that I beat come over here to the channel afterwards and yell at me. 
Uh, a lot of times people will come over and say good games and stuff. That that happens quite a bit, but I don't think I've really had anybody come yell at me. Ember holla. Gotta haul that ember around. Gotta haul that ember. So they're, they should be blocking with Ember Hauler and then sacking to, to kill one of my creatures. So they should be doing. I want them to I want them to kill Marauding Raptor because I don't really actually want to have to. Oh, are they just going to double block? That is just awesome for me. That's just even better. Because all they did was just kill a Marauding Raptor, but they should block with the Ember Hauler, sack and kill the other Marauding Raptor if that's what they really want to do with their life. But... I was hoping they didn't just kill the Ripjaw, because Ripjaw is so good for us. Okay, nice, soft sheep. Yeah. Yeah, Golgari Stompy is a, that's a sweet deck. So our Voracious Hydra was only going to be a 2-3. Not enough. <clears throat> Not enough to kill the Steamkin that was already running. So I don't play anything. We get a 3-3. Three, three. A 4-5 is better than a 3-3. Three, three. If we draw the land, then we'll be able to go Spellbreaker, Haste, Colossus. If we don't, we'll just be like Colossusing. And they're likely dead. Um, you could play Rakdos in a Kalia deck. I I don't think you need to. Maybe a sideboard card against, maybe it's a sideboard card against like the green Nissa decks that like make a whole lot of creatures. Maybe you want it there. All right, so I definitely want to play the two flame sweepers. What don't I want? Do I just not want the Colossuses? Colossuses seem pretty fine, though. You know, given this Hungering Hydra Trample... I'll just take them out. It's the kind of card that, like, it, you know, can help us win games, but only after we already have done a lot of other things. Um, but it's also the kind of card that if we just have, like, Colossus in hand and, like, some lands, a couple creatures, Colossus, they killed a couple creatures, our Colossus isn't doing anything. Uh, 
There you go. Awesome, Lolly Yeager. Oh, sorry, the Golgari Stompy list. Um, you can find it here. So to find my decks, you can find it there on the Stream Decker page. You just have to scroll a little bit, look for Golgari Stompy. But it's somewhere on there. I think it's easier to find the decks on the YouTube channel. If you go to the YouTube channel, click the video tab. You can... It's easier because you have, like, the, the thumbnails and everything so to look for Golgari Stompy. And then the deck list, of course, is there in the, in the video. I would be very happy if they sacrificed both of their creatures to kill my Marauding Raptor. It's a very, it's a good trade. You know, it's just a good two for one trade. I will take that. So we don't really want two Marauding Raptors out in play too much anyway. Yeah, yeah, my opponent should have attacked, yes. Alright, so this this card's actually scary. I guess they only have one card in hand, though. But yeah, they should attack with Ember Hauler. Either I block, and then they don't have to spend that mana. It's the exact same. Or I don't block, and then I take two damage, and then they, you know, they got two damage in. So we'd be able to Hydra... For three, which I guess could kill the Spitfire, but then would also kill the Hydra if we do the fight. So they only have the one card in hand. Let's just play this. Let's see what we get. No, I want to play the land and strike. Yeah, donation decks are twenty dollars. And then, whenever you donate, you just let me know what what day and what time slot. Because you know, I play, I stream every single day. I have my the four time slots, one through four. So whatever, when you donate, you can you get to choose whatever day you want me to play and whatever time slot you want me to play your deck. Oh, yeah, Hydra would have been a 3-4 and taken... I was thinking 3-3. Three, three. I forgot about that extra toughness there. I was thinking 3-3, three, three, but yeah, you're right. Hydra would have been a 3-4. But all good. All right, let's get these land worlds in here. Give us more mana. Should be doing just fine here. So I, I am planning on playing the Ambusher, then I am planning the next turn to play the Hydra and killing the Chain Whirler. So we won't get the extra wolf, but I'm going to kill the Chain Whirler and then attack for 12.
We lost to Skip Shift. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I've played a lot of games today. I, I think this deck lost to Skip Shift. Yeah, that, that sounds right. But who knows? Maybe that was last league. Somebody in chat can probably confirm that. This is Eve 6. A mill deck? Yeah, like... Yeah, I think you can make a mill deck. Um, either blue-black or blue-white. I think Ashiok... Ashiok Jace. Basically, it'd be kind of like the, the dredge deck that I play, except for the post board where we try to mill the opponent out. But, you know, like, we, we mill the opponent out quite a bit with the dredge deck. Game one, we mill ourselves, hit a bunch of phoenixes, everything like that. Again, Then against control, games two and three, we switch over to try to mill, we mill them out. And so this is why we're going to be boarding out the Colossus, because it can just not do anything. So I probably need this Hydra to be a 4-4, four, four, not a 3-3. Three, three. Not using the lightning strike right now is bad against more wizards' lightnings. Bleh. So do I turn this into a land of war elf? No. Kind of a tough call. It's doubling. So we definitely think they were going to be playing the Chandra next turn. Got to start pressuring them. Let's do this. This yeah, this is the maximum number of sets that will ever be in standard. You know, whenever we get the next set, it'll drop back down. So standard's always between five to eight sets. But yeah, this is this is big set standard right now. Pretty sure we're gonna win this. I would be really surprised if we lose this somehow. Sit back and watch it burn. Hydra tribal. They're hungering and they're voracious. But this one's not hungry or voracious.
No, let that resolve. Let that resolve. Don't shock it again. No, they figured it out. Could have also just done done that even before blockers to show them that they were dead. They didn't have a block that saved them there. All right, so we're gonna sweep instead of Colossus. So we did last time. It worked out. Let's try it again. Our our hands have definitely been good. So yeah, we have looked really good against mono red, but our to be fair, also our hands have been pretty good. But I guess like we do have. You know, we have a lot of four toughness things, and four toughness creatures, like a bunch of four toughness creatures, is definitely good against red. And that's what we have between Spellbreaker, Nightpack Ambusher, Ripjaw Raptor, both Hydras. We just have too many things that's like too hard for them to kill. Hey, awesome, Clem. Glad you're enjoying the Kalia deck. Are you playing the updated deck, Clem, that I that I put out afterwards? Or were you doing the original deck list? Ow. <laughs> playing the one okay so yeah at the end of the youtube video i i talked about like updating the deck list uh changed a few things to it and so i have i have both of those lists up on the youtube channel there's like it says like deck list and then underneath that it says like um It says like updated deck list. Yeah, the attack was a little suspect. We'll be playing the flame sweep here. I, I'm not sure if I was supposed to just play the flame sweep main, be able to you know just attack in for six. It's honestly probably what I should do, but I'm being greedy trying to get the wolf. They just have the one card in hand. They didn't have the burn spell before, you know, like last turn.
Man, that was such a good flame sweep. So it certainly worked out for us. Worked out really well. You got down to two down to two too much life for the opponent to handle and we are going to the final boss we are four and one Final boss time. Once our opponent decides to take the damage. They have two timeout things, though. There we go. All right, the Lido Shuffle is on pause. We need to fight further for our final boss here. Yes, I think the Sultai Flash deck was quite a bit better than the Simic Flash. No more mountains. Swampers. So they're a blue-black deck. They got Jace and Swamps. So blue-black probably means Thought Erasure. They're an Esper Vampire deck. No more land drops deck. And then the the that's the regular playlist. There's the boss playlist also there. I don't know why that one's your URL is so much longer. Take a Reckless Rage, that's a good one to have. Especially if they don't have a cast down or anything. That was a pretty poor turn three from them. Okay, solid turn four though. You should be proud to have come so far. See in yourself what I see in you. Oh, awesome, Bricks. There you go. Cool. Yeah, let me know how it goes. Bam, bam, 
Yeah, I'm attacking face because we're like really close to killing them. Basically. Makes their Danto Vanguard a lot worse. They can't ever pay for life. See if they're willing to pay for life. They kind of have to. Yeah, I just I just played Ban Arcbow the other day, Moby. I think like two days ago. No, three days ago. I guess a Sunday. Yesterday? I don't know. I played it sometime not very long ago. Um, but I I do want like with that being said. I do want to even uh, visit that deck more. Yeah, you get rewards for constructed and limited at the end of the season. So yeah, if you get mythic in both, you get the rewards in both. So if we bring in Veil of Summers and Flame Sweeps, we want to cut Colossus, Spellbreaker. Llanowar Elves. Llanowar Elves haven't been very good for us in this deck, especially after we're playing Marauding Raptors and Flame Sweeps. But that would make us that could make us too slow though. I don't know, does anybody else want to confirm that? I thought that's how it worked. Now somebody else is saying they think that it's whatever you're ranked higher in. I I guess I'm not a hundred percent sure. I, I just thought that's how it worked. Yeah, you get yeah, you don't get like more card styles because it's just the same card style, but you just get to the extra packs and gold. Never cut the ramp. I like I like your style, Darth. Never cutting the ramp. I like it. Oh, awesome, Hooblies. There you go. Yeah, the Sultai Flash deck. Really strong. Let me know how it how you do with it at the uh, LGS this week uh, on Friday there. With it. All right, a Danto Vanguard would be a little annoying with this hand. I mean, it'd just be a little annoying until we start playing these things that are bigger. That's fine. I wonder if like chumping with the land like chumping the knight with the Lanor elf for this turn. Oh, so that's probably where I should go is just chump the knight with the Lanor elf and then flame sweep. That's the safer play. Yeah, that's that's what I should have done. That's that's the better play than just sitting back. Because I, I can't lightning strike that thing because they can pump it. Blood is my beginning, and it will be your end. 
Yeah, I should have played Land War Elf. This is but a taste of my power. I think the knight's better than, than the legion lieutenant because the knight was going to get a counter at end step also. Because I you can't like the knight the knight of the ebon legion was growing it wasn't going to die to flame sweep either neither of them were dying to flame sweep. But this thing's a lot bit bigger. The main reason why I didn't go with the chump plan was because we didn't have another, we didn't have like the fourth land. That was the the thing that I was scared about with the chump plan. But I, I think that that was the better play. It turns out it wouldn't really matter because they had the Soren, so the flame sweep was just dead because of Soren. I think they're worried about minusing their Soren and having their Soren die to lightning strike. They have Mortify. It's rough. Mortify is going to be tough to beat. I guess I can't really play a Sorcery Speed creature because it would just let them use their mana there. We'll make them, they'll just Mortify the Ambusher on my turn. Or on, sorry, on their turn. I mean, we're not really going to beat the Soren from here. All right. Well, flame sweep, flame sweep was horrendous. It's probably better on the play, but I just want to get rid of it. Hmm. Spellbreaker's not going to be that great either. Noxious Grasp. I kind of want to play a Planeswalker. Because I think, you know, like, they have... They play a lot more removal after sideboard. I could see, like, us... Like, our removal killing their things, their removal killing our things. Battlefield stalling. And then a Planeswalker pulling ahead. You know, like how Soren pulls ahead. I kind of want to play one of these Planeswalkers instead of Spellbreaker. But I don't know which one... Play this thing. Let's do that. Let's get rid of this collision and play a Vivian. Okay, yep, final battle. Game three. Here we go. This Vivian's looking nice. It's looking a lot better than a Collision Colossus would. Perfect call.
Boo. Well, maybe not perfect. I can't really minus now because if they play Legion Lieutenant. To be contained. I guess we still Let draw the card though. What was lost. But the problem with plussing is then Noxious Grasp and we didn't get any value for our Planeswalker. I just gotta hope no Noxious Grasp. I'm gonna go with the plus route. It's, you know, either way could get us. I guess if I minus, even though it's dead to Lieutenant, we still get the creature, though. So I probably should have just minus there. All right, good sign. I'm a survivor. Have you ever lost a home? All right, well, if they, all oh, right, I can't put that in the hand. Well, they can activate Knight and kill the Vivian. So that takes up their whole turn. I could have grabbed the Hungering Hydra just to, to chomp. Ha! I've seen worse. But Ambusher is a really strong card. I want them to tap out. I don't want to play the Ambusher into an open removal spell when we have Veil of Summer. Likely, dis you know, they likely have to spark. I'm going to be playing the Ambusher from hand. That was a good card to draw. So I don't have to play the Ambusher from over here. Because if I play the Ambusher from over here, then my opponent's going to know that I had that option last turn to play that Ambusher, and I didn't. And therefore, I have, like... If, if that's the case, then the only reason to do that was that I wanted the extra one mana. And that would be for be able to have like a Veil of Summer type card. And the reason why that's all important, because then they know not to dispark at end step. And to instead dispark. Uh, let me untap and then dispark on like uh, on upkeep. And they just they just read the ambusher veil of summer yeah this has been a great flame sweep So we already played stuff on our turn, so let's just go ahead and play some more things.
Hungering Hydra. It'll be big. If we ever play it. That's two Noxious Grasps and a Cast Down. Certainly hoping that's the end of their removal. Hoping that's the end of the line for their removal. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like, I guess, so the question is, why isn't Kalia an angel? I'm not exactly sure. I guess, like, Kalia just has, she, from what I can tell, I, I'm not 100% sure on this, but from what I, what it kind of seems like on the card, she's a human that has aspects of angel, demon, and dragon. I don't know about, like, within her or how she's related to the three, but I guess so she's a human that's, you know, some, somehow has ties to those three yeah, the answer is definitely in the lore. I just don't know the exact answer. That's weird. Hey kitty, you want a you want a new toy? You want a vampire to chew on? I guess I should go this way. No, I have the night pack ambusher in play, but I just I think I want to play a seven seven with them being at six. Even though they could have they could give a knight of the Ebon Legion death touch to deal with the Hydra, but that takes up you know, it takes up a lot of a lot of their mana. Alright. Haste it is. We did it! Five wins! Let's get all this gold! Yeah! Get all that gold, get these gems. <laughs> rally of Wings! Oh, thanks game, yeah, we should have a Rally of Wings in that Azorius Skies deck. All right, so pretty cool little deck here. Um, the the thing that the other person, the viewer that in chat that was playing the deck before we played it, what they said was seemed like it was true. That it, our deck seemed pretty good against other creature decks. We just had, you know, like we beat vampires, mono red a couple of times. Um, we beat Esper Hero and something else. But we had just like some good sized creatures. These the hydras were just really big in the battlefield of like other creatures. Oh yeah, we beat elementals also. Um, and you know, ambusher, ripjaw also pretty big, uh, nice and efficient. So, like we were we were just like an efficient, you know, good size like good creature size, efficient creatures, aggro deck basically. And so we're going bigger than the other aggro decks, but still. Um, you know, still being fast to not get, like, ran over by, like, little creatures. 
but we were bigger than them. So that's that's what we were doing. So we we're really good there. Uh, you know, we lost to our escape shift opponent. That's probably pretty pretty tricky. Maybe you need to get like some blood suns or other things in the sideboard for that kind of matchup. Um, we only played against, like I said, the Esper, or we played against Esper Hero. It was definitely good to have the Planeswalkers in there. Um, but if we're playing against a control deck, I like having those Planeswalkers. So yeah, if the, if the metagame is kind of aggressive, if you have like an FNM, like a local metagame that's like real aggressive with like a lot a lot of aggro decks, this, this one looked pretty good. Like it felt good against, like I said, like the Mono Red and the Vampires and stuff like that. Reckless Rage is just a really nice removal spell that's, you know, at one mana that either like grows your creature or draws you cards, stuff like that. It was a pretty good deck. And Collision Colossus, I wasn't really impressed with. I'm not sure if we really need Colossus, honestly. I think these two slots could probably be something better. Like, maybe just Lightning Strike is better. Like, just maybe playing four Lightning Strikes. Or just, I don't know, something else. Maybe get a couple Planeswalkers. People are talking about, like, Domri. Like, honest, honestly, getting a couple of little Domri's is probably better than two Collisions. That was the card that I didn't really like at all. Um... Yeah, the, the Raptor, this Raptor is definitely a, a must-have in the deck. Um, I'll turn that off. This, yeah, this is definitely a, a Ripjaw Raptor deck. It was one of our best cards for sure. Um, and yeah, maybe get some Blood Suns over here. Maybe instead of like the Reclamation Sages or some of these Fries. But, oh, two mana Raptor? Yeah. This this is also a two mana raptor deck. I mean, I guess you could play you could play Paradise Druid. It'll be worse, but but yeah, like this deck's kind of built around Marauding Raptor. Like that's that's what the deck's built around really is the Marauding Raptor. There. Cool. Um, pretty good little deck here. All right. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd appreciate that. But that's it here for Gruel Monsters. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.